This is a quick introduction to how to interpret multi-QC reports and how to use the functionality that they contain. You may have generated your own multi-QC reports or you may have been emailed one by a collaborator, but all reports have a similar layout and it can be used in a similar way. This is a report I've just opened here. Um, it's an example report which you can also find on the website. And you can see the header here tells me that it was run by multi-QC tells me when the report was generated and what data directories were used to generate that report. On the left, I have a navigation bar which takes me to all the different sections of the report. Each one of these main headings was a different module in multi-QC which interpreted data from a different bioinformatics tool. And the subsections give you quick links to those different plots. On the right hand side, we have the toolbox uh, which contains different functions. If you need more space, you can hide this sidebar by clicking the bar and the page will shrink or grow. So at the top of every report, we have something called the general statistics table, which you can see here. This is a special case. This isn't a module from MultiQC, but rather it's a place where key statistics from all modules are gathered in a single place. So we can see for each one of these samples, we have statistics from a number of different tools here. This is calculated by feature counts. This is from STAR, and these are from FastQC. The hope here is that sample names will be the same, and you can see these numbers lining up alongside each other, so that you can see if there's something which is causing this sample to have poor alignment scores, FastQC may have a specific GC content or a duplication rate. You can quickly copy everything that's in this table by clicking this button, which will copy it onto the clipboard, and pressing the Configure Columns button will give you this modal, where you can change the order or hide or show different columns. If you scroll down the reports, we'll start to see content generated by the different modules. And here they will start to differ between different reports according, on, according to which tools have been run. Typically, there are a few different types of plots you can have. This is a stacked bar plot. If I hover over each of these bars, it gives me the exact numbers. And most of these have a switch where you can switch between percentages and exact numbers. If I click on one of the categories along the bottom, it will hide and show that category. So if I'm not interested in these two categories, I can click them and they'll be hidden. If I scroll down the report, you can see that there are a few other types of plots. Um, and this is a typical line graph. Here we have each one of these lines is a different sample. And FastQC plots, these are colored by whether the status of the FastQC report, whether it's pass, warning or fail. And if I hover over the lines, the tooltip will tell me which sample I'm looking at. I can click and drag on these plots and zoom in to look at a specific region in detail. And if I want to go back, I can click Reset Zoom. All of these plots can be exported. You can see the button here which says Export Plot. And clicking that opens up this multi-QC toolbox. Here we're set on the Export tab. I can change the different download size I'd like and also select between PNG which is rasterized or SVG which is good for publications and can be edited in tools like Illustrator or Inkscape. Plot scaling changes how large the legend and title will be in comparison to the actual plot and here I can download just one or I can download all of the plots in this report in one go so I don't have to export them one at a time. This toolbox contains a number of other features for instance, if I'm particularly interested in one of these samples here, I can put that name into, into the Highlight tab, and that will highlight just sample names that contain this search string and grey out anything that doesn't. And this is done all the way through the report. So now we can see that this bar here is highlighted in red, and if I scroll down to the first QC plots, I can see exactly which of these samples, which of these lines is the sample I'm interested in. You can do this with multiple search patterns. So I can put in another another search here and I could put in something which is more generic which may match multiple samples. For instance this substring here. This is done iteratively so any of these ones at the bottom can overwrite unless I drag it up to the top there. And again if I scroll down you can now see that these samples are being highlighted. This search box can be used with a regex if you could tick this button, so you can specify more complex patterns. A similar interface works to rename samples, so I can 
change, I can get rid of substrings if I replace the, um, the string with nothing. And also I can rename these samples to something that's more useful for me. So I can call that sample one. This tab has a similar interface to the highlighting tab and allows me to hide specific samples. So if I'm not interested in any of the ones which now start in with this string, I can enter that and now it only shows me my renamed sample one. Or I can show only those samples which start with that name. And again, I can use regex matching here. We've already mentioned the export tab. Finally, at the bottom, if I've done a lot of custom configuration, renaming and so on, I can save these settings and then reload them at a later time. If you all would like any more information about how to use MultiQC reports, check out the MultiQC website where there's documentation or drop me an email. I hope they're useful.